Minnie called someone smart. Thank you. I'm assuming that Minnie is talking about me. <laughs> yes, I am smart. Thank you for that. Probably. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Korean Rhapsody Season 2. I'm your host Justin. And I'm Stephanie. Yeah, so welcome back. We have another amazing show in store for you all today. Mm -hmm. The first story of the day is about someone who experienced some very nice Korean people on a trip to Korea. Mm, yeah. Yes, you know, um, I think there's a lot of warmth towards foreigners mm -hmm. in Korea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we also living in Korea have experienced something similar to this. Yeah. So we're very excited to yeah. see the story. So let's go check it out right now. Oh no, a foreigner? What do I do? I, I can't speak English. Wait, my son can speak English. Let me ask him. Hey dad. Son, there is a foreign customer here. It's hard for me to understand what she's saying. Can you translate for me? Oh, of course, let me speak to her. Hello? Hi, uh, which medicine are you looking for? Uh, so I have allergic rhinitis, so I need medicine that I can eat. Oh, edible allergic rhinitis medicine. Okay, got it. Could you pass the phone back to my dad, please? Dad, she needs edible allergic rhinitis meds. Oh, for rhinitis. Okay, I got it. Thank you. I was so grateful to the pharmacist and his son that day. Even though I spoke English because I couldn't speak Korean, he did his best to find the medicine I needed. I was so touched to see when Koreans see foreigners in trouble, they do their best to help. When you face difficulties in Korea, if you ask anyone, I'm sure they'll kindly let you know. Thank you for listening to my story. Yes, that was adorable. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so happy that this story sender sent it to us. It was one of you all. Thank you so much for yeah. the story. <laughs> Minnie called someone smart. Thank you. I'm assuming that Minnie is talking about me. <laughs> yes, I am smart. Thank you for that. Probably. Uh, Cassie <laughs> mentioned that you, you look stunning today, Thank Stephanie. You. Yeah. <laughs> Cassie Cute says, so cute, when I went to Korea, I took many taxis and mm. I talked to all of them, more grown-up men, right, yeah. the taxi drivers. Yeah, they're usually with, older men. Right, right, with my English slash Korean and they were all so kind and I had a great experience. Yes. yes. They're really nice to foreigners in mm. a lot of cases. Now it is time to listen to our first song of the day. Can yes. you explain which song it is? So, you know, um, I think the story that we just heard, uh, the foreigner was kind of uh, helped out by this Korean, right, this mm -hmm. Korean person. Right. And you know, in Korean, uh, lighthouse keeper is actually 등대 지기. Mm -hmm. uh, 등대 is lighthouse and 지기 지기 uh, means guard, right? right? It means guard, I believe. Yeah, so 등대 <laughs> 지기 is a lighthouse keeper. And you know, lighthouses, the main purpose is, you know, during a storm mm -hmm. or at night when there's foggy weather, ships can't really navigate that well. So they can gain their bearings by seeing the, uh, the lighthouse's bright light mm -hmm. through the storm. And they can kind of avoid any kind of rocks or cliffs or the shore and, you know, hopefully dock safely. So since the Korean helped the foreigner out kind of like a lighthouse keeper, I thought we can, I could share a song titled Lighthouse Keeper. So let's all listen to this song together right now. performance mm -hmm. by 
uh, kayagum, a Korean traditional instrument. I'm sure you all are familiar. It's a 12 stringed Korean instrument it's called Korean the instrument. kayagum, a very traditional old and Korean instrument. Yeah, this song, Tungdejigi, mm. is something that a lot of kids listen to. It's a children's song. Oh, a lot of yes. parents sing it like, as a lullaby. Mm -hmm. So, very nostalgic. Yeah. Our yeah. second story is about a storyteller who mm. was very concerned about having a roommate with a very different lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So those of you guys who have a roommate will probably, you know, kind of vibe with the story, right? Yeah, anyways, uh, I'm sure you all are curious about the story. Mm. So shall we listen to the story together? My concern is that my roommate is always in a rush. I've been living in a dormitory at the company for a while. I was excited about my first dorm life and entered the dorms. My first roommate in my life was a Korean friend. And because I loved Korea so much, I thought I was so lucky. My roommate is very nice and kind, and I was having a great time, but that happiness didn't last too long. Uh, Sophia, do you usually take this long to shower? Huh? Was I in there for that long? I thought I came out pretty fast. No, you took almost 10 minutes. If it was going to be this long, you should have told me. Uh, I really don't think I was in there that long. Okay, um, just try to come out a little faster next time, okay? We're late. Let me get ready and let's go eat. Um, sure. Here's your food. Wow, I'm so full. Are you already done? Wait, I still have so much more to say. You talk so much while we eat. We can talk more at the cafe. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll eat faster, I guess. In the end, I couldn't even eat properly and had to come out in a hurry. Since that day, I felt that this friend was taking care of everything too quickly. I need to get along with this friend, but until now, whatever I did, I tended to do it slowly to be relaxed and accurate. And when she eats, she really only eats. I want to get close while eating and talking. I wonder if she's doing this because she doesn't want to get close with me. Justin and Stephanie, do you think she doesn't want to get close to me? What should I do with this friend? Yeah, so that's a kind of funny story, actually. And I think a lot of people can relate to it. Uh, Nuina says, maybe you can understand her habit and sharing your habit with her. Yeah. Right. Katie says, uh, first of all, the story was so funny. And about the friend, I guess talking about your problems uh, with your roommate is the best option. Fighting. Fighting. Yeah. So now and it's time for the second song. Mm, that's right. What is the second song, Stephanie? Mm. So the second song that I chose was Letter by Kim Jin, mm. And I think you guys, uh, we chose a song because I think you guys have a trouble communicating and the lack of conversation. Obviously, it's very difficult trying to live with a roommate who has a different lifestyle from you. Mm. So we recommend that you guys maybe write a letter to her and try to convey your sincerity, which is the best way through the letter. And I'm sure your roommate will feel your um, sincerity through the letters and overcome these difficulties and become the best of friends. Mm -hmm. So let's go listen to the song right now. of the song Letter or Pyeonji. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, a lot of people recognize this song. It's yeah. a very popular, very famous song. One of my favorite songs. Please uh, keep your stories coming uh, to the email address down below. It's koreanrhapsody21 at gmail.com. koreanrhapsody21 at gmail.com. Better is not included. As they say in <laughs> advertising. Now. Yeah, exactly. Call now. Yeah. So please uh, keep sending us your stories. Uh, thank you so much once yeah. again. I think it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, we'll be waiting for your stories with open arms mm -hmm. and we'll see you next week. See you next time. Bye.